we can talk a little bit about this. Okay, so um, I'm no, I just did repeat a little bit of what I was talking about before um, the recording started. Um, we, um, um, those of you who are really, really behind on Gatsby, which appears to be a few of you, so, or almost the whole class, um, you need to get caught up because we're almost done with reading Gatsby and we're gonna start working towards writing our essay. Um, and um, if you're not done with reading Gatsby, you're gonna be really, really behind and I wanna make sure that you guys are caught up on that and um, everything. Also, um, oh my kid, excuse me. Also, um, if you do not know this, as juniors, you get to take the ACT for free this year um, and I, the date, I believe, is February 23rd. Um, and you'll come on campus to take the ACT. It's a free, a free test that you guys get to take. Now, with that being said, when we are done with Gatsby, we're going to have um, a small, like, ACT kind of prep session. And I highly suggest that you make sure that you are here for all of the sessions because I'm going to teach you some very, very good test prep skills that will um, get you ready for that ACT um, because everything you know about testing or anything that you know about taking a, or anything that you know about um, uh, testing or English or reading or anything like that in regards to taking a test is pretty much out the door when it comes to taking the ACT, okay? So um, I'm just gonna teach you some testing skills and it's worked really well for my students in the past. Um, I have students that have, um, you know, come back and gotten a lot better grades than they are, or a lot better scores on their ACT than they ever thought they could. Um, so um, I do encourage you to um, make sure that you are here for those sessions and uh, participate um, and with that. So as soon as we are done with Gatsby and get that all done, we will do some ACT prep and um, get you ready for that. But mark that on your calendars, uh, February 23rd, you will have ACT here at the high school. It is free, so it is something for all juniors. So make sure that you are here uh, that day at the school. Um, I'm sure they're gonna be sending out information to the virtual students, but I only have nine of you, nine of my juniors. So um, hopefully they'll get some information out to you soon about that. Um, but um, please take advantage of that. It's, it's like I said, it's a free test and they're not cheap. So, um, but uh, come up here and, and take that. And if you're worried about uh, being in contact with others, um, what they'll do is they'll probably move you up to the third floor and which is up here and uh, away from everybody else. And uh, they'll probably just have you separated from everybody so that you don't have to worry about that. We'll get okay. I'm not sure how they'll do that, but they'll, they'll figure it out. Okay, so who read chapter eight? Oh, yay, one person. <laughs> Sean, Sydney, you guys didn't read chapter eight? Nope. I read it. Not yet. Oh, you did read it. Okay, so Sydney says she read it. Sean didn't read it. Okay, so what happens in chapter eight? Tell me, what's going on? So what happened? Who who was killed in chapter seven? Who died? Okay. <laughs> everybody, a nuke was dropped. Everybody died. Why didn't it? No, Sean. <laughs> how how do you say her name? Myrtle. Myrtle. Okay, I don't, yeah, I did not spell that right, I don't think. No, that was my grandma's name. Um, no. <laughs> yes, my grandma. My grandmother said never to call her that. She hated that name, so, but her name, that was her name, Myrtle. Why did the power just go off in the microwave? But anyway, um, so, yes, her name was Myrtle, and um, yes, so she was killed. Now, what when, okay, so at, we're kind of going back a little bit in chapter seven. So when Myrtle was killed and Tom drove by the gas station, what was Tom's reaction? Oh, 
Wait, what was the question again? Okay, so when, okay, so we're kind of going back to chapter seven, to the very end of chapter seven when Myrtle was killed and everything. So when she was killed and um, we had, uh, and then Tom drove by the gas station, then what was the reaction? What was Tom's reaction when he found out that Myrtle was killed? Wasn't he like mad or something? Because wasn't he having an affair with her? Right, he was having an affair with Myrtle. But so I mean, but what was his? What what was? I don't know. You tell me. What was his reaction? Was he mad? Was he sad? Was he? Did he care? He was sad. I right? don't sound very sure. <laughs> you got a monkey climbing the walls behind you. Well, our microwave just died, so she's seeing if it's plugged in in the back. I see. Sydney, what about you? What do you think? How did Tom react when he saw Myrtle, when he saw that Myrtle had died? Okay, sad because his instinct was to cry. Do you think he was really sad though? Or was it, was it because that was just to cry because somebody was dead? Both. Um, so. Go ahead, Bree. Sydney's typing. So, and you, and go ahead, go ahead, Bree. What were you saying? Okay, so um, I think this is in chapter seven. I don't know. Um, so I think this was in chapter seven. He saw and saw the tears break overflowing down his face. So was he sad though, or was he just, or was he just crying, just to cry? John, what were you going to say? Okay, so Sydney says that um, that he, she thinks that he was actually sad because he had a past with her. Okay, so that makes sense. But what is that? So what does that say about his character, though, that he's crying over Myrtle, who he had an affair with, but he just lets Daisy go with Gatsby back into the city, like without a care in the world, after he finds out that Daisy had an affair with Gatsby? What does that say about those two incidences? What does it say?
Okay, he has no one to go to now that he let Daisy go and the woman he had an affair with has passed away. Okay, so did he let Daisy go? Do you think he let Daisy go? Okay, Gatsby took her. Where did Gatsby take her? Okay, so you feel like in the end he will find a way to get her back, but Daisy wants Gatsby and not Tom. Okay, all right. So what... After the accident, after the accident, as we're moving forward, so we have we have these things that have happened. Who was driving the car? Do you know? Who does Tom think was driving the car? Anybody? It was, yeah, it was Daisy, but Tom blames Gatsby. Why does he blame Gatsby? He was supposed to be driving? Okay. Why was Gatsby supposed to be driving? Oh, no. <laughs> it's getting awfully quiet in here now, guys. Okay, so what did um what did Gatsby tell Nick the night of the accident? That if anyone found out that he that Daisy did it something. I did not hear a thing that you said. You're broken, breaking up a lot. Anybody? Doesn't have to be just Bree answering all the questions, guys. What did Gatsby? What did Gatsby tell Nick the night of the accident? that no one could find out that Daisy was driving, okay? All right, and why was that such a big deal? Did 
And why did he tell Nick? Okay. Why did he tell Nick? Okay, you didn't want Tom to hurt Daisy. Was Nick someone that was a gossip? Did Nick tell people a lot of stuff? Was Nick someone that would tell people or go around and talk about people? No, he wasn't. So Nick was pretty good at keeping secrets. He was a good friend, right? So the idea behind it was that he was hoping that, you know, that Nick wouldn't say anything. Nick was gonna be a good friend and he wouldn't say anything, okay? So as time goes on though, Wilson does find out about the affair with his wife. How does he find out? How does he find out about this affair that his wife is having? Wilson, Myr Myrtle is Wilson's wife. So how does Wilson find out about the affair that Myrtle was having? Nope, not Jordan. Okay, as he's going after Myrtle dies, he goes through her things and he finds the dog leash. They don't have a dog. Okay. So someone had to give her a dog. And he, he determines that this dog leash and you know that is something that someone gave her. Um and you know, it determines that she has a lover because. He found the dog leash and that someone gave her a dog and a dog leash. Okay. So, um, now, what do you think is going to happen now? What do you think is going to happen? What is this? What is, what do you think is going to happen next? What is he going to come to the conclusion of? Who is he going to believe that Myrtle's having the affair with? Oh, this would be so helpful if everyone would read the story.
Okay, so here's my suggestion. Over the weekend, um, I want you guys to catch up and um, we are going to um, do a review of everything on Monday, okay? Now, I don't care if you need to read the book, watch the movie, whatever you need to do, but please come to class on Monday and be ready to talk about everything, okay? From the, like the beginning to the end, because I wanna make sure that everyone understands this, the book, okay? Because I'm not getting that from everybody. I'm not seeing that in any color journals because I'm not seeing that being turned in. I am not seeing that in class discussions because we're not having any because there's, I mean, the only one, like I got Sydney saying a few things and I got Bree doing a lot of the talking, but I'm just not seeing that. I need, and we need to have everybody come to class. So um, we need to make sure that everyone's caught up on their reading, on their color journals and things like that. So I need you guys to do that. Um, Next week, we will have some time changes in our class schedule. So make sure that you take a note of that when I send out the new calendars. Um, and uh, again, uh, be ready to start working on essays because those are coming. And um, I just, I need you guys to get caught up, okay? It's really, really important that you guys get caught up on the reading and, and everything like that and get your, get your color journals caught up, okay? If you guys need help or have any questions, I have office hours this afternoon from one to two, okay? The link will be posted on Classroom, on your Google Classroom um, agenda. So make sure you're checking on that. And um, I'll go ahead and let you all go, but um, just make sure that you guys get caught up, okay? All right? Caught up on stuff, please. All right. It's hard for me to do this talking to myself. All right. It's always better when I have students to talk to. Yep. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day and I will see you all on Monday. All right. Bye.